Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you my whole process for editing with music stems in Final Cut Pro. Nice stems. Thanks. Not those stems. I've noticed that more and more stock music sites are offering users like you and me access to the stems in their music cuts. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you. Let's hop on over to my personal favorite stock music site, Artlist. So when I'm browsing on Artlist, I'll preview songs, but I'll also keep an eye out for ones that have this icon. Now, I've been a long time user of Artlist and I love them because they're constantly adding new tracks and new features like the one I'm about to show you, but this video is not sponsored by Artlist. I do, however, have an affiliate link down in the description if you happen to be in the market for a new stock music site. It doesn't cost you anything extra to use that link, but it does help support my channel, so I appreciate that. But you should know that many stock music sites sites are now offering stems in this way. So once I click on this icon, I get this new pop-up window. And what this allows me to do is so great. It allows me to solo different components of this song so I can hear them individually, like in this case, these guitars. Or I can disable certain components so I can make the track sound less and less full and hear what it would sound like without particular components, like maybe without this piano. And for me, this is so game changing because so many times in the past, I will be listening to a cut of music for a commercial client. I do a lot of client work and I'm like, this is so great, except I know this client is not going to like that horn section, or I know this client is not going to like those backup vocals. And this allows me to pick and choose what components of a great song I want to use in my video. It is amazing. So once I've settled on a track, I'm going to download the stems. And what Artlist in particular does is deliver this zipped file. And when I open it up, all of the components of that song are in there as individual tracks. Now I'm even getting the ones I don't want, but that's okay. Sometimes it's nice to be able to have flexibility. So once we've downloaded this file, this is what you need to know about using it in Final Cut Pro. I'm going to take this entire folder and I'm going to drag it into an event in my library and it automatically creates a keyword collection with all of those tracks in it. Now you might think at this point, okay, let me just drag into my project all of the tracks that I want, but that is not the efficient way to go about it. Instead, here's what you do. I'm going to select all of these clips in my keyword collection and I'm going to right click and select synchronize clips. And now it is bundled all of those individual components of that song into one synchronized clip that I can drag into my timeline and then double click to open and there are all of my tracks. Now, because these tracks are all so separate and individual, Final Cut doesn't always do a perfect job of syncing that up, but that's okay. Here in my synchronized clip timeline, all I need to do is just stack them all to the beginning of my timeline and tidy it up if necessary. Now, because these are the stems of the same music cut, every single clip is the exact same length. So you don't have to worry about syncing them up. Once you do this, they will all already be synced automatically. From here, I can select those individual stems and enable and disable them just like you saw me do on the Artlist site. I wouldn't delete them, I would just disable them because you can go back and change your mind later. And once you've found the arrangement you like, you can just click backward to go back to your main timeline and there is your custom music clip. And you can treat this synchronized clip just like any other music track in your timeline. And you can see that this cut of music is too long for my video. So I could just trim it and fade it out. But if you wanna be professional about it, just play back the music cut and add markers along the beat. Then I can cut out entire sections of my music cut at those marker points and the beat will sound continuous when I play it back. And in some cases, I can leave it as a straight cut. In other cases, I might add a tiny little dissolve to just polish it up so it sounds completely seamless. And what's great about this method is if I change my mind about which stems I want enabled in my music cut, I can just once again, double click on that synchronized clip to open it up and then enable or disable different stems. And then when I arrow back to my main timeline, no matter how much I've chopped up my music cut, those changes I made at the stem level will apply. In my opinion, this is the best workflow for using stems that you get off of Artlist or another stock music site. Do you guys do anything differently? What other tips do you have for me? Let me know down in the comments, you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Here's another video I think you're gonna love and I'm gonna let YouTube pick out something it thinks you're gonna love right down here. I'll see you again.